Hello friends, welcome to CSS video tutorial series. From this video tutorial onwards, for the next few video tutorials, we are going to discuss CSS properties. Before we proceed and understand how we can use CSS properties in our HTML documents, I would like to create one HTML document. I minimize the word, I go to start, say here notepad, I click on the notepad, you can see that the notepad got open, I say control V. You can see that I have pasted the basic HTML document structure code. Title is set to CSS properties demo and I already written opening style tag and closing style tag within the head section. I say file, save as. I save the file at desktop with the name default.html. Both sides I put double quotations. Click on the save button. I minimize the notepad. You can see that default.html page created. I right click on it, say open with the Google Chrome. You can see that default.html page open in the chrome, title is set to CSS properties demo. I go to the notepad, here in the body section I say hello html exclamation mark. I am going to copy this and paste it few times, 1, 2, 3, 4. File, save, go to browser and refresh. You can see that hello html exclamation mark got displayed 5 times. What if I want to move this content to the next line? What I have to do? I have to use the break tag. So here I say br tag. I say file, save, go to browser and refresh. You can see that the content moved down. Same thing I do for the next text also. I say control V, file, save, go to browser and refresh. Then I say here control V, file, save, go to browser and refresh. I say here also control V, file, save, Go to browser and refresh. Now hello html exclamation mark got displayed one below another. I am going to format it little bit so that we can see the code properly. Hit enter, hit enter, hit enter, hit enter. Here I am going to say break tag, file, save, go to browser and refresh. Now what if I want to display this html exclamation mark in bold? Of course we can use the html b tag, right? I use here opening b tag, closing b tag. This makes the text bold. File, save, go to browser and refresh. You can see that first HTML exclamation mark got displayed in bold. Okay. Similarly, I can use the strong tag, right? Strong tag also makes the text bold. So here I say strong opening tag. Here I say closing strong tag. File, save, go to browser and refresh. The second HTML exclamation mark also displayed in bold. Very good. What if we want to display this HTML exclamation mark bold without using the HTML B tag and strong tag? How do we do that? Of course, we can take help of CSS properties. CSS properties also help us to perform formatting or styling. One of the important CSS property that help us to display text in bold is font weight property. CSS font weight property is used to specify the boldness of the font. Various values that we can assign to font property are lighter, normal, bold, bolder. Also you can give font weight values 100 to 900. 100 is lighter whereas 900 is very bolder. So you can try these things. Now I go to the notepad here. As B tag and the strong tag are an inline level tag, I am going to use here span tag, opening span tag and then I say here closing span tag. We know that the span tag is also inline level tag. Okay. Then I am going to create one class. So I say here class attribute. The class attribute value is going to be display bold. I am using the name display bold. I copy this. I go to the style tag. Here I use dot. We know that the dot in CSS indicate class selector. I paste here display bold. In flower brackets, I am going to say font dash weight colon bold. I am using this value, bold value for the font weight property. Now what happens is this HTML exclamation mark is going to be displayed in bold. Why? I am telling to the browser, locate any HTML element. If it has the class attribute value set to display bold, of course, this HTML element class attribute value is display bold. So that is going to have font weight bold. File, save, go to browser and refresh. You can see that third HTML exclamation mark is displayed in the bold. That is how you can use the 
font weight property font weight property sometimes we use to normalize also for example i do not want the b tag to make the text bold simply what i can do is i can tell to the browser locate any b tag in this page okay then say font dash weight w e i g h t weight normal then every b tag is going to now onwards apply the style font weight to normal file save go to browser and refresh you can see that the first html exclamation mark is now in the normal format so you can use various values lighter normal bold bolder to the font weight property according to the requirement most of the times we use normal and bold values for the font weight to display the text either normal or bold i hope you guys have understood how we can use the font weight property to display the text in bold i am going to delete this from here file save go to browser and refresh so for this tutorial this much is enough friends in the next tutorial we discuss one more css property for more benefits and be up to date please subscribe to my youtube channel and don't forget to like comment and share these videos with others so that everyone will get benefited keep learning keep coding keep sharing thank you guys thank you very much see you in the next tutorial